Welcome to the channel. In this video, I'll show you the gear I carry in my X-Venture XV3 off-road trailer. The trailer and the choice of gear allow us to be more comfortable, extend the range of our trips, and carry more safety equipment. Having an off-road trailer adds an axle and allows us to stay well under gross vehicle weight rating on our tow vehicle. In my case, either a Jeep Wrangler or a Jeep Gladiator. My X-Venture XV3 does this and will follow the tow vehicle just about anywhere it can go on an overlanding trip. This video is not sponsored. All the opinions in it are my own. X-Venture didn't ask me to make this video. They didn't pay for my trailer. I paid for it with my own money. There will be a link in the description where you can purchase a Muddy Ruts hoodie or t-shirt or a Zargis aluminum off-roading case. If you find value in the video, please consider hitting the like button and subscribing. It really helps out the channel. I appreciate you watching. Thank you very much. Let's get on with the video. A recent overlanding trip had us camping at Jawbone Canyon OHV near the pipeline. Since all the gear was out of our trailer, I thought it'd be a great chance to show everybody what we carry and how we load it into the trailer. One of the most important things our trailer does is carries our rooftop tent. It also has this awesome toolbox mounted on the front. The toolbox contains the controls for the electrical system and the battery. In the three compartments, I carry plastic ammo cans with maps, radios, tie on straps, my compressor, a couple of tools, tent stakes, and some other miscellaneous items that are required or helpful on the trip. On the right side fender of the trailer, I have a jerry can mounted so I can carry five gallons of diesel. On the left side fender, I have a similar mounting where I carry a five gallon jerry can full of water. The trailer also carries a spare tire for itself, and on that spare tire, we have our trash room mounted so we can pack all of our trash away from wherever we're camping. Another important item I carry on the trailer is a box full of tools. Since the trailer can carry quite a bit of weight, I can carry just about all the tools I want or would need. In addition to the five gallons of water I carry on the fender, I also carry a five gallon jerry can inside the trailer. This trailer lock also doubles as an extra wheel chock. This time of year traveling in California, I make sure I have a set of tire chains available. I carry a cooler. I don't carry a fridge. Although my trailer is set up for 12 volts, I could easily carry a fridge, but I like the idea of having a bear resistant cooler instead of a fridge. I also carry in the trailer these three front runner boxes. One carries miscellaneous items, the other carries my buddy heater, and the other one carries pots and pans and utensils for cooking. One of the items that we could not fit in our Jeep and we really miss carrying is this little Mini Weber portable grill. It's an awesome grill. It's great to carry along. It just really extends the ability to cook good meals on the road. And the little Weber is also a USA made product. We also pack a couple of camp chairs and a small table and our fire pit in the back of the trailer. The privacy shelter and the portable toilet actually stay in the tow vehicle. The small Coleman grill has never let me down. It works very well in the wind, and that's something we carry in the trailer. And I also carry a backup stove in my Zarges container. The first green bag you see is actually our Spring Bar Auto Fly that we used for the first time later on in this trip. The darker green bag is a standalone shelter that we can set up over our table and chairs. This Zarges aluminum bear resistant container has been a great addition to our gear, and there'll be a link in this video description where you can purchase one if you want. They're a high quality, made in Germany product. And like I said, they're bear resistant. This large black bag is my Cabela's privacy shower tent and it deserves a video all on its own. It is an awesome product. Privacy shelters are a really important part of the gear and I bring two of them. One in the trailer and one in the tow vehicle. This is basically all the gear I carry in the trailer. The folding table will go on top of the tannel cover that covers the trailer and it'll be strapped down on top of my doormat that I use to keep our feet clean going into the rooftop tent. Let me show you with some time-lapse video how I load the trailer. The fire pit is large, but it folds flat and right out of the way. I never seem to get my gear in the trailer the same way twice. Sometimes it fits a little tighter and sometimes I end up with more room than I expect. The Zarges container contains all of our dry food items and my little backup stove. I try to keep that at the end of the trailer along with the cooler so we can pull over and have a snack. 
or a hot soup or a cup of tea. You can also see that I keep an easily accessible fire extinguisher mounted on the back of the trailer. With the trailer loaded and the swing gate closed, I'll show you how we mount our folding table and our doormat onto the top of the tano cover. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe if you find value in the video. Now the tano cover is rolled out flat, and with the help of some rings I mounted on the side of the trailer, we'll put our welcome mat and our folding table, strap it down. Here's my little X-Venture XV3 loaded up, locked down, ready to do a walk around to make sure everything's latched, ready for the road. Five gallons of extra fuel on one side, five gallons of water on the other side. Our table and our rubber mat are lashed down. They're not going anywhere. Trash is in the trash room and that's buckled up, ready to go. Padlock on the back makes everything secure and also prevents the door from opening by accident while we're driving. I bought my X-Venture X-V3 kind of plain, but one thing I like about it, it's very customizable. I've added these rings, I've added some lights, and I'll keep adding a couple more things to make it just the way I want it. This is our first time using my wife's Gladiator to tow the trailer on an overlanding trip. The Gladiator with the Eco Diesel motor doesn't even know there's a trailer behind it. We're leaving Jawbone Canyon and heading north on 14 till it meets 395, and then to Lone Pine where we'll end up in Alabama Hills with probably the most beautiful campsite that we've ever had or we've ever seen. I hope you got something out of the video and remember the best is yet to come.